during the three months lockdown it is reported that 152,000 high school girls were reported pregnant but of course there's someone changing the narrative about sex education in the society I caught up with Japheth Ayeko running an initiative Kama Sio Sisi Nenani his initiative is centered towards educating the society and teenage girls about sex education. And this is a development story of our society. And my name is David Kenneth. Join me on this journey as we unpack the full story. My name is Zafet Ayeko. I am, I am a filmmaker. I'm a filmmaker who, I'm a filmmaker, but I specialty in script writing, directing, producing and marketing. Yes, um, I am a student in my final year at Kimo University and uh, yes, currently I am running a project called Kamasio Sisi Ninani which has been funded by BIC and uh, Enactus Kenya. So Kamasio Sisi Ninani, it's a project that seeks to bridge a gap between parents and teenagers in holding reproductive sexual health dialogues in their homes and even like to everywhere. It is important that young people receive early education on sexual matters to reduce the risk of HIV, sexually transmitted infections and early pregnancies. Youth are tomorrow's future and without guidance, then the future is at risk. So the project, you, you see now, um, in, the, in the, the, the society now, it's, it's very open. So the, the open society, you, you can find, there are good things and there are bad things, but the bad things are easy to find. So come to see Nani because now you see when, 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 a, when a child wants to learn how to kiss, he or she would just go and type how to kiss. If Akipata movie at a pata, how to kiss, Aki get near at a, at a get something. But now what we want to do we, we want to ask parents, siblings, older siblings to like talk to their young ones, tell them. So kissing, you don't kiss at this age, you kiss at this age. And if you must kiss at this age, then do it this way and this way and this way. So the project um, seeks to use media, like because we, I understand films and television are very impactful in each and every person's life. Either you, you, you are in the secular world or in the gospel world, movies are very impactful. Like you, you watch a movie, you want to be like someone. You, want, you watch a movie, you want to dress like someone. So. I want to use film to to impact the children to to for them to to know that this is the right way to do this this is the right way to do this and through that I hope I'll be able to to reduce the number of school dropouts due to early pregnancies and STIs. So come at your Nani, I was with my friend and it was and it was Crouch uh, skinny jeans. So we are talking with my friend Crouch. So to call Asema, when high school has closed, now we have like girls who are fresh away from the ones in campus. But again, now where we were, where we were, we were standing next to to a mango tree. So we a mango. I love we a this a mango. So in Bichi, but in Zakulika na Chumvi. So that's how we we understood like young girls when we were high school, when Zakulika na na Chumvi to make them to make them sweeter. So now there is so the so I ask myself if. I, when you go campus, when I'm supposed to be learned, I'm thinking in that line of uh, uh, of maybe enticing the younger girls who are undead. Then what about someone who when you are shule? What about people who don't care? What about people who... Like, I, I, put, I placed in so many considerations and then I realized that, yes, we need to, to teach our girls maybe how to, to say no from enticements because if I give a young girl 10,000 shillings, I don't think I'm going to do it from, two, from a normal setting. I'm going to 10 Gs. So, of course, she can't say no, but we need to teach them how to say no. So, the project is now. I wanted to reduce maybe the number of ISO defilement cases, um, school dropouts. So, uh, at first, I, 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 I didn't know to get me a film because I just wanted to, to maybe hold seminars, but again, I realized that film is a tool that can be used for development and societal change. Now, uh, with the grant, with, with the grant I've been given, I'm, 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 I'm starting by focusing on Wasengishu County, but not the entire Wasengishu County. So I'm looking at 30 schools, 
So in the 30 schools, each school I'm, I'm targeting 200 students. So uh, that's around 6,000 students. Yes, so that's the number I'm looking to, for, for, for a start. But now, because now the project is in a pilot project, but when I I start, when I, I, I do it first, then I'll I'll seek for more funds, more more, 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 more partnerships, and I'll, I want, I'm looking to actually to target the entire country. I'm, I'm hoping if I can get to a million students, then my heart will be satisfied and I'll call the project a success. Uh, personally, I'm a storyteller. And uh, what I believe, you, you, talk to, you talk to a man in English or Swahili, he or she will listen to you. But if you talk to a man through his or her own language, then you talk through the heart. So I want to use stories to, to, to change the society because the society, I, I won't say the society is it, at a bad place because, okay, we, there are so many negatives that are Znafonika, the positives, but I believe uh, there is room to change the, the negatives and Kukwena positive. So I believe that it can be done. It, it, you only have to start, then people will come and uh, you have to believe, now for me, I have to believe in the, the, the agenda, the course, for other people to believe in the agenda. And if I believe, if other people believe in the agenda, then we will all help the society and transform it. Mm -hmm.